What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I'm back with another episode of IBM Tech Now. I'm going to dive into the latest and greatest IBM news and announcements, including 25 years of Java on ZOS, the 15th consecutive time that IBM was named a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for primary storage, and five IBM products named to the Trust Radius Best Software list. But first, a bit of news from the wider tech world. Swedish and Danish researchers conducted a successful experiment last week that could make the internet faster and more energy efficient. Using a laser-powered chip and a specialized light-creating device, the Scandinavians transmitted 1.84 petabytes of data in a single second, setting a new world record. How much is 1.84 petabytes, you ask? Well, it's roughly the equivalent of the entire internet, about two times over. Moving that much data would typically require over a thousand lasers, but according to the Washington Post, the new chip works by using a single laser to create a rainbow of colors through a device called a frequency comb. These arrays of light carry data through fiber optic cables in a faster, less energy consuming manner. Bringing greater energy efficiency to the web is a big deal because the internet accounts for roughly 10% of global electricity consumption. The researchers said the new chip is years away from mainstream use, but the development is extremely exciting nonetheless. And now let's dive into what's going on at IBM. So today's news is brought to you by the numbers 25, 15, and 5. To start, 25 years ago, IBM released its first SDK for Java on IBM Z Systems hardware. And since then, Java has been a key component of delivering innovation, performance, and portability on IBM Z Systems. A quarter century later, Java remains one of the top development languages for modern enterprise applications. And the design principles and resulting benefits of an SDK for Java on Z systems remain consistent. This versatile programming language has helped many world-class customers build highly robust, scalable, and reliable modern enterprise applications with us. For example, Atruvia AG is using Java to accelerate the creation of new services while extending the life and value of its core applications alongside COBOL within IMS on IBM Z systems. We're also excited about the future of Java development at IBM. In 2021, we began the next phase of our Java journey by rebranding our IBM SDK to IBM Semaru Runtime Certified Edition for ZOS. To learn more about the 25 years of IBM and Java, check out the link I've got in the description of this video. Next up, for the 15th consecutive time, IBM has achieved an industry-leading position in the 2022 Gartner Magic Quadrant for primary storage. The Gartner MQ provides a graphical competitive positioning of four types of technology providers, and IBM was named a leader, the highest distinction based upon ability to execute and completeness of vision. IBM has an unparalleled legacy in data storage, with inventions that include the floppy disk, the hard disk drive, magnetic stripe readers, and more. We believe being recognized as a leader in the magic quadrant for primary storage validates the ongoing innovations developed by our global team of engineers, product managers, and marketers. It also highlights the strength of the IBM storage platform, which incorporates countless proprietary technologies developed by our scientists and researchers. To learn more about IBM storage solutions and the Gartner MQ, hit the link below. To wrap things up today, we're excited to announce that five IBM offerings have made the first ever TrustRadius best software list. To make the list, products must have over 40 reviews from the past year and have maintained a TR score of 7.5 or higher. IBM's products went a bit above and beyond by maintaining an overall average rating of 9.0, demonstrating their commitment to transparency, improvement, and user insights. The five products recognized by TrustRadius are IBM Watson Assistant, IBM Process Mining, IBM Power Servers, IBM Power Virtual Servers, and IBM Flash System. A big congrats to the teams who worked on these solutions for all they do to keep our customers happy. To learn more about these products and the TrustRadius best software list, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.